Right, Aries, this is going to be your May reading. <clears throat> you know, all about you reading. Okay, if I just shut up other time. Um, it's going to be for your sun, moon, or rising. If you don't know those, because it is good to look at them all, you get a better picture. Um, download your birth chart, and it'll tell you that. One more more guy. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Right, we're going to talk to you in Aries, so you've got big decisions or a big life change that's going on, something's going to happen, good or bad, but something's turning, so whatever situation you're being in is coming to the head, um, likely the wheel of fortune is turning, yeah, you could have been uncertain for a while over this decision, it may have caused you a bit of heartbreak, you may be wanting to go in somewhere with an apology, uh yeah you could feel like there was an indifference in love maybe you were offering a couple of love someone was offering you a couple of maybe you bit had a bite from a cherry somewhere and that caused you a tower moment you could be feeling left down the cold at the moment you could feel like either you're up the tree with all the money or somebody else is yeah you sure you're on the right path love and yeah this person's star white went for you got a child um biblication plays be able to be present at the same time so Somebody could be a doppelganger, <laughs> yeah. leaving, walking out the door, and somebody needs to learn to think for themselves. Uh, yeah, Leo Sun and a Libra Sun, the letter J, the letter F, the letter H, hospice care, and this person blames you from childhood, evil eyes. <clears throat> right, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Some past life connection could be relevant with the Six of Cups set, or someone's coming back from your past, or you're going back to somebody from your past. Yeah, you could be going in offering a little pentacle, or someone's coming to offer you that. Yeah, over a choice between two. Maybe somebody walked away, you walked away. A cancer could have been involved in that. It could have been someone you had a house with, or there's something there with that card. I see, like, there's two people guarding a key there to a house, um, and there's one person on the top. So two people could be hiding a key, three people could be hiding a key to a house to be really fair, yeah, maybe even from a high priestess, um, somebody who knows the truth anyway, yeah, and then we've got this eight of wands, which is lots of messages, so lots of messages could be going on about that house situation, whatever that is, uh, yeah, that could have been sneaky behaviour, people could have been sneaky and done that, people could have also been looking at what they'd harvested in that and waiting for their ships to come in, a Virgo could be involved, but somebody could be shining a light on that situation, that could be a Virgo, it could also be an Aries with the King of Wands there, and Aries could be stashing some money at this time, showing money for everybody, but they're stashed a little bit on the side, yeah, and there could also be a message of a pregnancy coming in, and there could also be a lot of money involved in that situation with the Ten of Pentacles. And six people are watching and viewing what's going on with that money, yeah. Somebody could be very guarded at this time. And that could be on a family situation. People celebrate together, drink together, all that stuff. Yeah, there's balance needed there, Sagittarius. Yeah, and then the Six of Pentacles, which is, which is you know, giving equally. Like, it's like justice is coming in. Because one's got a lot and the other one's got nothing. And... Um, justice is now here to equal it out, to come and bring forth. It looks like the one that's got something is well and truly nearly eaten all theirs, and the, the one that hasn't is, it looks like they're being blessed with something. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it could be an ending to a situation of a Scorpio, maybe. A family situation, maybe. Somebody had lots of choices. Yeah, not all good ones either. And somebody ended up crying over spilt milk. They were looking at what was spilt, and they weren't looking at what was behind them. Yeah, and that could be, you could be getting a message of that as well, Aries coming in. Um, something that might get you enlightened, but it might put you in the hangman when you might realise that all this love has pulled away. Like, and it should be a new beginning with love, but someone's jumping in the fire pit and someone else, the, the, the water's all overflowed. That could have been because of juggling, that could have been juggling with a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or on them, or they did it to you or something. Yeah, 
Somebody may be wanting recognition and reward. Six people are all watching one person on a screen there as well. That could be a Leo with a Leo card there. Someone could need to get some strength there. Then someone, something's the truth, yeah. Someone's speaking the truth, or that is the truth, what I just said. <laughs> Whatever that is. Yeah. Right, you need to connect to the spiritual universe. Incest could be relevant somehow, Aries. Cancer moon. Someone's not a team player. Yeah, wearing a mask, it's an illusion. Neurokinesis, influence of electric, November. Aries ascendant. Points have been made. Solving problems with violence. And yeah, someone wants to come correct now, so they say. They might have erectile dysfunction as well. Yeah. Someone, something you keep going back to, Aries, basically. Something you keep on picking up that stick and having another go, trying again. That could be somebody who acts very single. Somebody who could be coming in speaking a very sharp truth to you. And that could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. And that's going to be judgment. Could definitely be a Capricorn with the devil card there. Or someone you're sexually targeting for your time to. Anyway, yeah, you could be going in offering a small pentacle after a complete ending. Like one night stand energy. Yeah, some empress there has flown the nest now. They're flying, they're off. That could be you, Aries. You could be off somewhere. It could be a Libra. Yeah, and then you've got star cards as healing needing to be done after a lot of illusions and lies and a lot of like passionate messages probably to a lot of people. Yeah, chariot card, you got in the chariot and moved away. It could be a cancer. There was a lot of fighting going on then. There's a lot of blindfolding people to truth. That could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody you had you in your head. Yeah, there could also be an STD around that situation. There's six people all involved in that and somebody's going to sleep ignoring that at this time. Somebody went off and had a new beginning, maybe even on a family situation. They kind of went to go and find greener grasses, ended up having to end all them cycles because it become a burden, they had to drop it and they were being a player. There was some two a couple relationship, could have been a Leo involved in that. Yeah, definitely a Leo because the sun cut straight after. So there's a choice between two lovers. Someone was a blessing and something now is justice. Yeah. I keep seeing it, so I'm going to have to come over. Yeah, uh, expect difficulties in, in this period. Reconciliation, devil, Capricorn, working alone, amputees, yeah, supply sex, finances, and temperance, Sagittarius, karma for Aries, yeah, don't want to upset too many Aries, <laughs> we won't do that, <laughs> right Aries, right now at this moment you've got the king of cups, so you're controlling your emotions on the situation, Are you controlling your emotions or you're dealing with a cancer card because you're a Scorpio? Yeah, somebody who's looking in the future, somebody who you could actually be either you're looking at this person or that's you controlling your emotions. And that could be yeah, because you're looking at what you've harvested in a situation, what you've got, what you haven't. Yeah, at this time you're thinking of moving away, getting a boat and moving away. You could be <laughs> moving, yeah, you could be moving, um, could be taking you a lot of strength to move away. Uh, your strength card is also Leo, but you could be moving away. You could also be moving away either to a Virgo. You are moving away from a Leo towards the mother of your children, Virgo, towards the Capricorn, or it's the other way around, one or two. Yeah, new love's heading your way. <laughs> Making money off you, or you're doing that to someone, a good sniff. Yeah, inspiration, receiving uh, divine inspiration right now. You could feel like an orphan at this time, Aries. How can you know if it's a temporary situation or is it just a slump? Should you make big changes, Aries? Let's find out. Yeah. Maybe in your in your mind at this moment you want to jump kind of off the cliff backwards and take a chance, go and do something. Yeah, you could be ignoring the situation, you could be sleeping on the situation at this time, trying to work out what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Yeah, you could feel like you're in your head a little bit over the situation. You could have one person in your ear a lot and uh, five people in the background. Yeah, and that could be over a new beginning with love, Aries. Yeah, and also you blindfolding yourself to a truth. Like, you're not really blindfolded. You really can see what's real, what's not real, but you're choosing to not see it. A sassy white woman could be involved. 
and Scorpio Ascendant. And this matters for some reason. Capricorn Ascendant. Yeah, Gemini, no, Cancer Moon. Moving on swiftly. Someone's day is sleep with lots of people and don't even watch it. Yeah, automatic writing. North Node is relevant. And let them carry on because this is about to bite back. Scouses and somebody is married. So you're married or somebody's married, Aries. Maybe you're married to someone they don't even know. <laughs> yeah, five of cups. Some love what pulled away all the way down the drain. Right, Aries, what people are seeing about you is that you're Aries, you're an emperor. You're looking back at the past, though, because he's looking back at the past. Um, that could be over, what, six of cups, past life relationship, like someone from your past, childhood, uh, all those things. Yeah, where there was an indifference in love. Somebody was juggling on a two of cups relationship, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, somebody... Went off and left a little trail of money when they went. So somebody may have got some money and then went off somewhere. Yeah, maybe even one night stand energy. Yeah, maybe somebody decided to take some time out or somebody went towards a Virgo or shot a light on the situation with Virgo or maybe even went and had endings of cycles with Virgo. One of the two. Yeah, there could have been a lot of passionate messages going on. A lot, a lot, a lot. There could have also been an endless stream of diarrhea going on. Yeah, Neptune could have been relevant. That's like illusions, lies, addictions, prison, romance. These people can't even look you in the face, Aries. Mind manipulation. Someone's ill, close to the ascendant. This person's wishing bad on you. Someone's squealing like a little pig when you pop it. Yeah, and that's the truth. <laughs> Still doing that. <laughs> the letter A could be relevant. Children could be involved. Mercury, angel. And someone's clueless to the situation. Or oh, Gemini could be relevant. And just don't go there, you know. Scorpio Ascendant, very vulnerable person. Always, whatever you put on me, I'll put back on you. Or at least, you know, upstairs do. Someone's going to get arrested, Aries. Right, what your secret is, is a Leo. Why is Leo a secret? Or the Queen of Wands could be you, Aries, could also be a Sagittarius. So you could be, other people could be seeing you, and you could be, no, I think it's a Leo. Yeah, that's the truth. It's a Leo. <laughs> that is the truth. All right, okay, let's go in. Yeah, this could be keeping you up for the night time as well, with the Nine of Swords. Somebody could have been a player, somebody could have got jabbed in the head as well. A child could have even been spit on to, to do what they had to do. Somebody was working with two other people, or three people. Yeah, and somebody walked away, put their hands up like, you know, like, she's like walking away like, nah, you're all right. You see? Yeah, Mars could be relevant. That's Will, Scorpio, Aries, action, assertion, aggression, war, fire. Someone's standard. Someone's still watching. So I'm still talking. Yeah, first off, Shankar, Druids. And my days, these people really need to... They're really loving themselves. <laughs> Telling everyone you're a hoe and a slag. Standard stuff. Snake, doing a runner. Someone made up a load of bull and grass then into the police. Taurus Ascendant. Damage control is about to say place. And all more crazy shit again. That must like be exhausting. On that crazy shit all the time. Yeah, someone's about to fall out of a window as well. So what's this? Why have you got this Queen of Wands? What? So have you been working on a Queen of Wands with three people, Aries? And someone's about to fall out of the window. On a load of knives, is that the plan, Stan? Yeah, somebody, that's somebody's wish. So somebody, <laughs> somebody's wish, or somebody's called a genie out. So somebody's downfall is that they fall on some stairs, and they could be doing that with three other people. Yeah. And also trying to give like one person a little bit of money and kiss stash and the rest behind their back. Yeah, somebody else is like making. There's one person like telling the world, but another person is telling them everything they've got to do. And then it's been turned to heartbreak. So somebody's trying to make something happen with heartbreak. Somebody also could be playing a game like a chess game. There's a lot of chess pieces in this thing. So there's, there's some chess game going on with somebody. Probably a Leo. And you're probably keeping it secret that you're the one doing that. 
Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, about a new beginning with money, but somebody's guarding that with all their life. Yeah, because somebody may have burned down where they were and they've gotten their ship and they tried to move away from that situation. Be willing to forgive. Well, somebody's got to be willing to forgive, yeah. This person talks out of all. Love and light reverse it back. And this person needed time, so they lied about pregnancy. I think there's a lot of that lies and whatever. Bull. Yeah, the magician, right, Aries. So what? <laughs> Why you kept all this a secret is because somebody's been manipulating it. Or a Gemini. Could be an Aries or a Virgo, but normally Gemini. And somebody's been manifesting something on an extreme. Somebody wanted to, like, rise from the ashes, maybe. And that's why you're keeping it a secret about <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it could be on a family situation. The Ten of Cups there, somebody's family, your family. Gemini. Yeah, somebody who acts very single maybe. Or you could be acting very single moving around. You could also have five people up against you at this time. Somebody could be getting very drunk and shouting at somebody else. Trying to explain to somebody who's acting like a child. Yeah, that could leave you very gloomy area sitting at the bottom of the stairs you could feel like you're constantly have to fight those people are in your family as well because this is all it's all to do with family these fights are it could also be to do with a high level of connection it could be to do with a tourist whose knees are knocking and they're praying at this time yeah that could be relevant yeah religion could be relevant stop ignoring the red flags Aries, Taurus, Cubs you are good enough yeah energy healing um immense vitality through me easily and effortlessly nothing is set in stone and this person has sex with you for money aries phobias wiretaps gemini cancer cusp you could have a gemini cancer cusp listening to you yeah this could be on a family situation as well somebody's family someone you live with maybe or somebody in yeah family yeah, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. That could be the father of your children or the mother of your children in male energy. That could be someone you did some sneaky behaviour with and you got yourself stuck. That could involve Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, who loves your daughter right now. Maybe somebody had somebody under control, like the moon's got control of those two people dancing. There's illusions and lies around that situation. Maybe people were dancing. Maybe someone's a dancer. <laughs> yeah, someone else could be pregnant now as well. Or there could be a message coming in of a pregnancy. Yeah, a choice between two lovers, look. But there's a pregnancy coming in because someone got tickled under the chin. In these cards, that's what it is. It's a tickle under the chin. And then you have a baby, yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be involved in that. But somebody could be cutting something out of their life. Maybe somebody's found something out. Yeah, Queen of Swords. When your conscious mind is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords. Always going to be cutting somebody out of your life, one of the two. You know what you're doing, Aries. Karma for Cancer. Yeah. Um... And karma for cancer is um, letting go of situations that are no longer any good for you. Yeah, imprisonment or slavery, no control. Scribe or writer and something's burdensome, it's time to release it. Invest in someone else. Yeah, confidence is the key to success. And Capricorn could, Aquarius cusp could be relevant. And someone's, someone... Someone's took some money through fraud um, and work through your fears. And lessons are really, truly blessings, somehow. It's hard to believe. <laughs> right, Aries, let's do this Queen of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords for? Yeah, maybe you're wanting to cut something out. Maybe you're sending, thinking of sending somebody some messages. It looks like you're sending messages in the future, though, Aries, not in the past. Yeah, you could be undecisive. You could think of something as family or something to do with family is coming to an end. It's causing you heartbreak. Yeah, it could have been something you manifested, but now you're feeling like maybe someone's judgment on a situation and that's to do with a child. Yeah, it could involve a Leo with a sun card there. It could also involve like a one-year-old child. <clears throat> There's a big red flag around that child as well, yeah. Someone's knowingly spreading an STD as well, and the letter Z could be relevant. And a car crash has happened. Somebody's been in some car accident. I think in, in Virgo reading, there was an air, there was a Taurus, and there was a car accident. Someone ran away from a car accident. That could be relevant. Car issues, check this, October, May. Your ex is now fucking with your sister or your brother. 
and someone's going smile is going to disappear from their face for real for real different skin colors is relevant the letter m dark candle magic libra moon and your own family cursed you august you're about to go insane in the membrane aries <laughs> insane in the brain right what's that leo about? what's that son about that child about yeah somebody could be coming in with an apology as well like saying they're sorry begging or you're thinking of doing that yeah maybe having a new beginning with stability with somebody after a message you're fishing it up yeah and that's over some juggling and illusions and lies that went down that's to do with that presidency that's on your conscious mind yeah and that's the truth here well, you're very guarded at this time of your money maybe you need to be right what's in your heart is a new beginning with stability yeah but you gotta drop some burdens And make a choice between two lovers, maybe, with that, or a Gemini could be involved. Yeah, making a choice between two lovers, though, I reckon, there. On a family situation, somebody could have a blessing coming in. That old man in that picture with Ten of Pentacles, there's a lot of money, but he brings a blessing in, he does. Could be on a family situation where cycles need to win, like complete cycles, like they're in the world. Yeah, and that could be with a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, somebody may have just been being a player and they're sleeping on it now. They're ignoring you, they're ignoring the situation of it. Yeah, it's just not going down. Um, right, in your soul is the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Father, your children, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be someone you're married to, maybe, but I feel like, yeah, it could be someone you're married to. Yeah, somewhere way in your soul, maybe you shine a light on a situation of a third party and you now see very clearly. Yeah, where there was need for balance, maybe there wasn't any. Yeah, you're now looking at what you have with what you've got. Yeah, we've got uh, drama with a soulmate is nearly over. And show the world the real you, Aries. Virgo moon, you're attached to trash, so you need to... Well, if you stay there, you'll end up, yeah. Indigo is fraud all around this situation. Gemini could be relevant. Sassy Black Woman could be relevant. Release all things, Virgo, Sun. And Aphas, which is Scorpio. Um, sex, death, shared resources, other people's money. Um, death, rebirth. Rising from the ashes. Cancer ascendant relevant in this. And someone married is about to get caught. And there could be a woman full of corpses somewhere, so someone needs to check that. Yeah. There could also be a very pregnant empress somewhere around this situation as well, with the empress there, always a Libra, always a mother, and someone's bossing up an empress energy. Yeah, someone, you, you could be in your head, it's probably a pregnancy, a later stage pregnancy, Aries. Um, you're in your head about that, you're in line to you want recognition and reward maybe with a Leo, but there has to be an ending, and there you are, Aries. Yeah, you're putting your guard up and keeping your guard up at this time as well. Maybe you're thinking of going in and offering a little pentacle somewhere or whatever. <laughs> God's sake. Yeah, could be a Leo with a Leo card. Something could be taking you a lot of strength. You may have to walk away from a situation you've been working on something. Something isn't a blessing anymore, though, Aries. There you are, and you're looking straight. At the Queen of Pentacles, who's got her back on you? So that's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But you, <laughs> yeah, you could be getting sharp, passionate, not passionate, sharp, very blunt messages coming in, and that could be from a past life connection where there's been a big tower. There's been a big tower. I feel like you're ending cycles, Aries. Wherever you are, wherever you were, it's all coming like all coming to an end. So something new can come in have a change up of the situation yeah um right last card i'm going to do is the nine this has been up in your head this is the outcome <laughs> not the best outcome yeah you could you need to move away from these situations there you need to end all these things that are no good for you completely and end them yeah you maybe need to end something with a Gemini or a magician. You may need to stop doing magic and trying to manipulate things into working in your own way. Yeah, because it's going to cause great endings. It already is causing great endings. Yeah. So 
Someone's going to come in with a very sharp truth. They're going to speak it. I'll sit down there. Someone's coming in with a very sharp truth. And that could be about somebody sneaking away, trying to sneak away. Someone was seen sneaking away. And that could be over a new beginning with love. Maybe someone snuck away to a new beginning with love. Or they're going to... And that could be you, Aries. You could actually have a cup of thorn underneath your foot. This time, maybe you made a decision over two things to do. Yeah, two things. Could also involve a Virgo towards a cup of thorn or the mother of your children. Somebody could be going some money at this time. I've got quite a few children around, I think. Yeah, and then you can need balance in that situation. Someone's getting a thin arms at this moment, and they probably know that. Yeah, and it's got to do with what maybe what you harvested under the moon, but the problem with that is if you fall asleep now, you're going to jab yourself in the side. You can't manipulate everything. Yeah, and that could be to do with Leo. Could also be an empress involved who's um, on the chess game as well. It's all about a chess game. It's all a game, isn't it? Yeah. A Virgo could be involved. A very scared Virgo now who's uh, hiding behind his hands. So he normally shines a light on the situation, but he ain't shining a light. That could be someone who wouldn't drop the fight with you either, or wouldn't drop the fight with somebody. That could all have been about a show. A show that was going on like everybody was watching, having a great time. Somebody's having a good old battle with the devil. Mm. And that could be about a Leo. <laughs> with a queen of wands there. Right, Aries, I'm going to grab you one card and I'm done with this reading. Yeah, mm. allowance. Let's read allowance. Right, the frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So you've got green and orange. Aries, and number nine, allowance, right. This all could be over money. I think it is all over money. Anyway, love and love. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.